Did the military of China experience a UFO event that was similar to the Nimitz encounter that got the attention of their leadership? We've recently learned that the president of China is one of a very small handful of Chinese authorities that's given access to the information and records collected when the People's Liberation Army scrambles military fighter jets to intercept UFOs. And according to this recently published Chinese media article, the data that the PLA collects during UFO encounters is treated as, quote, the highest military secret. This, of course, mirrors the long-standing rumor that the U.S. government's UFO secrets are classified at a higher level than the atomic bomb secrets. And although it hasn't received nearly as much publicity as its American counterpart, China's government-sponsored UFO investigation has been monitoring and analyzing UAPs in their skies for decades. And they've even started to utilize AI to help them analyze the UFO information they've collected in their national database, according to this 2021 news article. But their use of AI for this effort was actually announced in 2019 at a conference of senior information technology scientists in Beijing. At that conference, researchers from the People's Liberation Army stated that UAPs pose a serious challenge to our country's security. And thanks to this presentation from Sean Kirkpatrick of Arrow that was leaked in January 2023, which included a link to this article, we know that in 1994, 50 Chinese scientists came to an agreement that UFOs pose a big challenge to modern science and might have a significant bearing on human life. And they were so concerned that they called for worldwide cooperation to investigate UFOs. But this call to action in 94 wasn't enough to convince the Chinese government to start taking UFOs seriously. But four years later, an event occurred that did shock them into action. October 19, 1998. As the Kangzhou Air Force Flight Training Base was settling down for the night, the calm darkness was shattered by the harsh cries of a single alarm coming from a radar station at 11 p.m. Within seconds, three more alarms sounded because their radar stations were tracking a high-speed object flying directly over the base. As 140 members of the ground crew scrambled to prepare themselves for a potential attack, they observed a bright white light in the dark night sky that looked like a star rapidly moving to the northeast. Suddenly, the fast-moving light split into two, one white light, one red light. They then merged back into one object, only to split into two again. This, of course, should remind you of the Aguadilla UAP that was recorded splitting and merging into itself. As the odd light show continued to repeat itself in the night sky over the Chinese Air Force Base, the lights grew in size until they became one solid object that looked like a mushroom with spotlights pointing out of the bottom of it. Spotlights that appeared to be searching for something on the ground which I guess you could say would make it look like a jellyfish. Just saying. At 11.30 p.m., the base was elevated to a combat readiness state and two J-6 aircraft were scrambled to intercept the mystery object. As the pilots approached the object, they began to notice more details about the craft. And they compared it to the shape of a straw hat that had a series of white lights on the bottom and a red light on the side. Just then, the object suddenly took off straight up in the air at a speed so great that it made the pilot's hearts tremble. The two pilots gritted their teeth, pulled back on the jet's controls, and attempted to chase the object. As the jets continued to climb in altitude, they found themselves in an extremely unfavorable position because the object was now directly above them. After realizing that they wouldn't be able to catch the object, they decided to go with a different strategy and they lowered their noses as if they were trying to escape. And when they leveled off, they discovered that their strategy had actually worked because the object was directly behind them. They then implemented the second phase of their plan by accelerating as fast as they could and then launching themselves into the sky in an attempt to get the high ground on the object. But they quickly realized that their efforts were in vain because the UAP had immediately moved back into a position directly above them. At that point, the jets were becoming low on fuel and they were forced to land. But as two other jets were preparing to take off to continue the pursuit, the radar towers reported that the object which had been hovering stationary had taken off and vanished from their screens. Which sounds pretty similar to how the Tic Tac left Commander Fravor in the dust during the Nimitz encounter. Now ask yourself, what do you think China's learned about UFOs in the 26 years since this event got their attention?